it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Craft and this video is video two in this week's blog post videos. The first video took a look at the machine and kind of reviewed it and this video we are actually going to make a couple of Christmas cards using these lovely glimmer plates here. So I've switched the machine on, I waited till the platform had heated up and now I can add my glimmer plate to the platform and press the timer. So while this heats I'll get my cards and foiling ready. So for this project I am going to use these cards that I had made. These are the 6 by 6 square cards with their matte layers. Now because the matte layers that I'm using are the exact size I'm not going to be cutting it down in any way. I need to make sure my snowman is positioned centrally and also that I then position my card accurately over the top. Now, in the video that I showed you with the review, I just did the um, platforms and the plates exactly as they suggested. However, I found that for these dark, uh, glimmer plates that have a lot more foil, that just wasn't working. It just wasn't giving enough pressure to um, put the foil solidly across the cardstock so what I did was I added the shim initially I tried it by adding a paper shim and that still wasn't enough so I actually added the, the plastic shim that they included as the, one of the plates and I found that worked however you do need to make sure you cut the foil really tight because otherwise to the size of your actual glimmer plate because otherwise what you'll find is that the foil goes a little bit on the outside of the card where you don't want it to be so that you do need to be cautious of so you can see here that it's really pressed down beautifully and I've got an absolutely stunning perfect foil here and that was probably about my third or fourth attempt because I was playing around as I said with the shims and this definitely was the one that worked now you saw in the previous review uh, video that it worked fine when I used the frame and the sentiment so I'm assuming that it's because these are such a bit larger area of foiling that you need to do however it may be that you want to to do this extra shim whatever to ensure that you get that absolute perfect foiling 100% of the time I haven't tried this now on sort of more sentiments and and sort of smaller areas yet I've literally only done this on um, the review video that you saw and this one here but even the frame that I did on the review video I actually when I went back and saw it a little bit later because it's um, foiling you don't always see it initially but there was a little area that wasn't 100% perfect now this one actually did go through the through the um, spellbinders machine it just didn't look like I put it through but you can see again here that there was a perfect foiling however you can see a little bit there at the top by my thumb I've actually just put my thumb over over the top that he um, actually did have a little bit of foil that went in the wrong place all I did was take an eraser and I rubbed it off with an eraser and it came off fine so it was okay I got away with it so now we're doing the ho 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 um, glimmer plate here now for this one you've got both the die so it cuts the external edge to make like a sort of tag I guess you could call it um, plus your actual glimmer plate so I thought it'd be fun on this one to use some of my scraps that I had by the way don't forget that you want the shiny side down so that does make it a little bit more fiddly with something like this to make sure that you're getting it all done but as um, long as you cover everything you can't really see how it's going to turn out but it's going to be fun so I literally pieced them together um, like a little mosaic and I thought that was really quite fun and some of my off cuts I actually even cut them even smaller just to make them kind of even more fun and again I needed to hold it real carefully as I put it through because I'm trying to ensure that it stays in the right place I think that would be less of a problem if you were starting with a piece of cardstock that you were going to cut down because then it doesn't matter if it slightly goes off squiff and I think I might have tried found that a lot easier to be honest but you can see that's come out so nice you can see that it's come out good usually when you take it off actually because you can see that kind of pressed bit through the foil and then you start peeling it off and it's just gorgeous um what I found with this was a couple of the bits where the foil was overlapping um 
there were a couple of like little crease lines which were okay it didn't bother me too much but what I decided and it's not actually in the photographs unfortunately but I did go over it afterwards with a bit of stickles like crystal stickles so you could still see the gold and the silver through but it just hid those kind of crease marks um, and I literally I'd made the card I'd finished the video and everything and then I was looking at it thinking mm, yeah I really think I'd prefer it if I covered that up so here I'm just adding the um, dye around the edge and then I'm popping that through my platinum to die cut that sort of I call it a tag but I guess I don't really know sort of <laughs> die cut the die cut out so there it is and you can see it looks absolutely gorgeous and was really pleased with it so now we're on to the actual cards so what I've done is I've taken some Marie card that matches the color of the actual foiling that I'm putting on the front of the card I've taken a strip and put it on the inside that was actually an off cut from me cutting the uh, mat to go around the edge of my actual square layer here and there was a little off cut that I had so I just used that in the inside and I thought that looked really nice but I thought that this is a really simple clean card but so just adding that bit of silver mirror really very thin actually because I've literally only got a quarter inch so it's literally like a, an eighth of an inch piece of mirror and then another eighth of an inch of the white before of the actual um, card base so it's a really small area but I actually think that works I think personally I wouldn't like it too thick I think that delicate their sort of delicate mat of the mirror sort of stops it overpowering the center of the actual foiled element there now for this one I thought I'd use my uh, Martha Stewart punch it was quite hard to punch through the mirror so I that was why I only did it on this one I struggled on the others it's because it's got this coating on it so it just really does not like to punch through very well however what it did do is give me some cute little snowflakes as well which was quite fun um, and I kept those and I had a few in the silver because I tried to punch it on the silver as well and it didn't work so I had to kind of cut the top off and just leave it plain which you saw on the previous card so here you can see I'm just going to add some of the gold um, snowflakes now you can see up the top there where the top snowflake was near there was where I had the um, foil and you can see just erasing it has taken that away so we we got away with that and then I'm just using the cosmic shimmer this is the new pot uh, the new design and I'm really liking it it's the first time I've used it and I'm loving the new nozzle um, and I just glued those all down onto the front and then you could either use your cosmic shimmer or just carry on with your tape pen here and then I'm just sticking that to the front and I just thought that really added just a little something to the card by adding those snowflakes I just kind of liked that and I tend to like putting them in bunches of odds so you've got threes threes and a one in the corner there and I personally think that looks better so this is our final card our ho 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 so again I didn't punch that one and I just again added that to the inside but of course this one is nothing on the white cardstock at this point so this is my white layer I'm just adding it to the gold mat that I've created I decided to go gold with this one I don't know why it could have equally been silver because we had both colors but I just quite like the warmth I think of the gold I was in that kind of mood so I've added it to the front there you can see my card is slightly folded off so I just correct that and then we get on to adding some foam because I want to add the foam to the little sentiment here because I think just raising that up would be quite fun and then and it gives it that little extra kind of interest you can see it sort of adding that shadow and it, it really makes it stand out because the way it is you can't add like a, a, a like a mirror border around it or anything you'll see there that I added um, the foam but I also added a little of the cosmic shimmer I always like doing that with the foam I just tend to think it doesn't stay stuck as long especially in central heating so I always like to add that extra bit of the wet glue just to give it that extra strength so you can see what I mean there about the dimension it's not very deep but it just enough to 
give it that shadow which makes it stand up off the background of the card and here you can see I'm adding the snowflakes again and I've got both silver and gold here I had the silver as I said because I tried to punch out the silver but it didn't quite work but I had enough little snowflakes just to add that and I think that looks really cute and of course our snowman had snowflakes in it in the actual design so it kind of still worked I think as a set if you wanted to do them as a set or you can do them individually um you know so either way but I kind of like the sort of snowflakes around the edges like that so there they are done and it's a really simple way to actually make some Christmas cards or any cards and I think it it worked really well definitely once I added that extra shim that plastic shim it actually says shim on it um I definitely think that was what made all the difference but as I said make sure you cut the foil tight because otherwise you will get a little bit of foil where you don't want it to be but otherwise it worked beautifully I was really really pleased with how it turned out I think you can see that the foiling was absolutely perfect okay so I hope you have enjoyed making these cards with me I think that as I said I think they look gorgeous do make sure you go on across to the blog post the link will be in the paragraph below just click show more and you'll find the link to the corresponding blog post on there you'll find the other video that i am been talking about and also pictures of the finished cards okay so thank you so much for making these with me i hope you enjoyed and i will see you again soon thanks again bye mm -hmm.